In this video, we will begin to take a look at square roots of negative numbers. Currently, we have no number that, when it's squared, would equal a negative 1. So to make this solvable, what we will do is create a new type of number. We will call this number a complex number, which we will represent by the letter i. The square root of negative 1 is i, and if we square both sides, it will clear the square root, telling us that i squared is equal to negative 1. Now, we can calculate the square root of negative 25, because we'll have the square root of the negative, which we can think of as a factor of negative 1, and 25 is 5 squared. The square root of negative 1 is i, and the square root of 5 squared is 5. This means the answer, the square root of negative 25, will be simply 5i. In this video, we're going to be simplifying expressions with radicals, where we must always reduce the radical first. Also remember, before reducing with fractions, we must be first sure to factor and then reduce the fraction. Let's try some examples where we do just that. In this problem, we're going to simplify the radical first by finding the prime factorization of 300. Notice the negative in there is just going to be represented with a factor of negative 1. Fact prime, in prime factorization of 300 by dividing by 2, 150 times, 2, 75 times, 3, 25 times, 5, 5 times, and 5 once tells us the 300 is 2 squared times 3 times 5 squared, all over 5. We can take the square root of 2 squared is just 2, the square root of 5 squared is just 5, and also now we know the square root of negative 1 we have defined as i. This means we now have 15 plus 2 times 5, or 10i, and left inside the square root is 3 over 5. Before we're allowed to reduce, we'll want to factor the numerator. There is a common factor of 5, leaving 3 plus 2i square root of 3 over 5. Now we can divide out the 5's, leaving our final answer, 3 plus 2i, square root of 3. Let's try another example where we have to use the fact that the square root of negative 1 is i in order to simplify the problem. In this problem, again, we have a negative inside the square root. We'll represent that negative with a factor of negative 1. Again, just as before, we'll find the prime factorization of 80 by dividing by 2 40 times, 2 20 times, 2 10 times, and 2 5 times. We have 2 to the 4th times 5, and this is all over 8. Now, we can simplify the square root by dividing the exponent by the index. 4 divided by 2 tells us that 2 2's must come out. The square root of negative 1, again, we know, is i. Now we have 20 plus 2 squared, or 4i, square root of 5, over 8. Again, before we're allowed to reduce, we must factor the numerator. 20 and 4 are both divisible by 4, giving us 4 times 5 plus i, square root of 5, over 8. And now we can reduce the factors. 4 and 8 are both divisible by 4, leaving 2 in the denominator. For our final answer, we have 5 plus i, square root of 5, over 2. By defining the i as the square root of negative 1, and i squared as just negative 1, we're able to simplify expressions that before had no solution.